every day thousands of people are sat in the interview spotlight. Oh, typical. I hate interview questions. Oh, right. A few bag the job. Many come hopelessly unstuck. Would I work with him? No. But one man thinks he can turn interview duds into sure-file hits. Business psychologist Dr. Rob Young. Um. Rob's going to watch three real candidates going for one real job. Could this go down any more quickly? In the first 30 seconds. Who will bomb so badly that their only hope is Rob's own brand of no-holds-barred training? How much homework did you actually do? If you do that in an interview, they're going to find you really offensive. If you thought private investigators only existed in the movies, think again. OK, first thing I'm going to pull out is uh, my night vision scope. Another useful bit of kit uh, that any private investigator would need is a typical bug. There are firms across the country prepared to snoop around for you, and Ansel's investigation is one of them. We cover all sorts of things from accident investigation, workplace monitoring, fidelity issues. Super flat. <laughs> and they're looking to take on a rookie, able to walk on the shadier side of the street. For a job like this, you've got to be focused, um, you've got to be confident, and you've got to have uh, a lot of self-discipline. We want somebody who, who shows that they've got some common sense. We don't want someone who's going to, to ruin the reputation of the company, ruin people's lives. These three candidates think they could be a super sleuth. But with PIs as interviewers, will their cover be blown as mere imposters? It's interview day. While the company is looking for the best candidate, via a live link, Rob Young will be spying to find the worst. He claims he can then transform them from lost cause to serious contender. It's time for the first candidate. On a personal level, what would you like to be better at or what would you like mm. to sort of do? Um, you know, sort of what you're passionate about. Um, this candidate is using loads of erms, erms. She's obviously nervous. Just slow down. Think about the words you're going to use before saying something. Don't fill the silence with an erm. Have you ever had to sort of make cold calls? I did have to do some cold calling yeah. to old members. She's giving really good examples, but her body language is now very closed. Arms clasped quite tightly across her body, looking really quite nervy. Could do better. Now it's the time of candidate two. Find is OK. I did, yeah. I came out yesterday afternoon Ross, to make sure I find it. Hi. Fantastic first impression. Strong handshake, good presence, great eye contact. I'm a Kung Fu instructor. I do sort of three nights a week, occasionally at the weekends. And I need something to fill in the rest. Mm. His first mistake, it implies that he's really a Kung Fu instructor at heart and that this is something that he just needs for a bit of cash. What do you think you're going to find least attractive about the job? Um, sitting in a car three or four days, <laughs> peeing, a in a <laughs> peeing in a cup. <laughs> That's a really good sign. The interviewer's joking, there's a bit of repartee banter. I think it's a sure sign that these guys really like him. Last up is music student Owen Williams. Nice to meet you. Excellent. Hiya, take a Owen. seat. Yes. Tell us about yourself, Owen. At the moment I'm studying at university. I'm only there for eight hours a week. Oh, right, okay. It's not like it's a real degree or anything. Oh. Right. Excellent. The first thing that comes out of his mouth is that he's not really doing a proper degree, just stabbing a big knife in his own back. Great start. Give me an example uh, of a time when you've applied lateral thinking. Oof. How long have you got? I'm trying to think where to start. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, this morning, actually, trying to cook a bacon butty and it went up in flames because the mail came. What on earth is he wibbling on about? Try and give an example about how you've demonstrated your skill in a work or a professional context. What motivates you? What gets you out of bed in the morning, apart from obviously going to university? Um, <laughs> well, I've had a bit of sleep trouble, so... Um, not long ago. <laughs> so, literally. basically, knowing that I'm getting up and I'm going to do something... Like this morning, I set my alarm for 20 past 8, just so I had a little bit of time to snooze. Snooze till about 20 to 9. I was here Got up. half seven. Look at the body language of these interviewers. They're laughing at him, not with him. They think he's a joke. So in terms of the next steps, we'll be getting in touch with you at the end of next week. Just right. Take it from a lot there. of time to bite my nails. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, and practice on your guitar. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mill of
Remember, there's something called the recency effect. People remember the last thing that you say and saying that you're going to mill about, bite your nails and play your guitar is not a great thing to finish on. The interviews are over and it's decision time. Despite his kung fu commitments, Grant's positive presence won over the interviewers and landed him a job. But one candidate stood out a mile for all the wrong reasons. I think it went quite well. I like the, uh, the, the new posture. <laughs> wow. I managed to sit down, sort of be myself a bit. The word liability springs to mind. Yeah. They made it quite relatively painless for me. On a rating of 1 to 10, we got an interview performance. About seven or eight. Possibly a three. I would have said a two. At the moment, Owen hasn't a hope of scoring an interview 10, but Rob thinks he can convert him from sleepy student to convincing candidate in just three days, but only if Owen is prepared to wake up to reality. You're a Owen. Rob, what happened to the beard? I got very bored on there. Okay. <laughs> it, it looks good, actually. It looks better. Jeez. Should we have a look at the tape and see what the interviewers thought of you? That's... The word liability is very much a word. The stroke in the beard is usually a sign that I was told that it's a lion sign. I don't know, it's pensive. He's always thinking, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. As in, well, in preparation for this interview? Mm. No. He hasn't got a clue about what employers are looking for. They want someone who's reliable. If you don't come in here and say, oh, I've set my kitchen on fire this morning, it's a burn of bacon yes. butty. The impression that they had was that you were a slovenly student sitting at home in a kind of decrepit little house with a beer in your hand watching the telly. Most of the time they would have been very correct in their assumptions. Um, but if you want to get a job, then you cannot give them that impression. In order to prepare for interviews more effectively... Right. You are going to think about some answers to interview questions. They will take you about 15 minutes to think up some answers. Right. You will do this, won't you? I will have this ready for you. And homework is just the beginning. If Owen is ever going to get a job, there are three key changes he has to make. He's got to inject some energy into his voice, dynamism into his body language, and realize when he's under pressure, then start performing. I do fit very well into the student stereotype. Um, I'm always broke, um, I like a drink, out partying quite a bit, um, and I don't get a lot of work done. He's really, really laid back and he's so down to earth. He's, as I said, I mean, the only word I can say is he's a dude. Like a true dude, Owen's dream is to be a professional guitarist. If I could do that, I'd be having fun and it, it wouldn't even seem like a job. Music's done a lot for me, I just want to return the favour. But at the moment, making music isn't making Owen any money. I actually need a job quite badly at the moment. Student loans only go so far, and I need to put food on the table. I've got bills to pay as well. Oh, that's nowhere near hot. As well as the money factor, which is um, it's quite a large factor. It'll give me a bit of motivation as well, get, give me more energy. But without motivation or energy, Owen hasn't a chance of making it out of the pub, let alone in a job interview. Over the next three days, Rob is going to give Owen a rude awakening in an attempt to turn him from sloth to worker B. But will Owen ever pick up his pace, or will he be the one candidate Rob can't get over the finish line? It's day one. Time to get Owen out of his comfort zone and test him on his homework. Most interviews contain a core set of questions which all candidates should have answers for. If Owen's going to have any hope of interview success, he's got to be able to respond to them. I'm going to leave you here and I'm going to find different vantage points and fire interview questions at you. And because I know that you can be quite low energy, I want a really dynamic performance. I want you to perform under pressure. I'm going to try and disorientate you. So it's up to you to really show me what you got. Okay. Okay, let's go for it. Owen, tell me about your strengths. My strengths? I've got a couple of strengths. Um, I'm messing this up. 
tell me about a time when you've demonstrated lateral thinking. As far as lateral... Oh. I do apologise, you're going to have to bear with me for a moment. Um, Why don't you start from the top without the awkward pauses and yeah. without erming, OK? Um, oh! How much homework did you actually do? What would you say your weaknesses are? I've got a tiny problem with thinking on my feet. How are you feeling about your comfort level on a scale of 1 to 10? About 1. Why? I realise now how badly I've prepared for these questions and I know I've got more coming. You need to bring up the energy levels, be more dynamic and pick professional examples. You don't want to leave a trail of corpses behind you as you leave an interview. With Owen getting an F grade for his preparation and presentation skills, Rob decides to cut his losses and move on. It's going to be a long, uphill struggle from here. Apart from preparing some decent answers to interview questions, Owen has to persuade people he can be dynamic. As jobs are won and lost within the first minutes of an interview, he's got to do it from the moment he says hello. Here, introductions are everything. The surprise is that I want you to do some speed dating. It's all about first impressions, because in an interview you have about a minute and a half to make an impression for people to really like you, think you're dynamic, interesting and employable. So here, I want you to meet these women, and I want them afterwards, when I interview them, to say that you were dynamic. Right. Thoughts? Shocked, um, somewhat appalled. <laughs> now, um, this should be a strange experience. Hello, Jane. Hello, Jane. Hello, Jane. Hello, Jane. Hello, Jane. I am. I've had a, a really strange day today. Got tickets to the after show party as well. Where was that? In the I have no idea. I didn't go, so I couldn't find it. Oh. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Just some adjectives, some words that you'd use to describe him. Not particularly motivated, not focused. On a scale of one to ten, how dynamic would you rate him? Four. OK. Sorry. It's all right. Thank you. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> Without prompting, women have said, um, yeah, he's just really low energy, really low dynamism. Yeah. Oh, dear. So we need a little bit more body language. Sit up and use your hands to illustrate points. You look a million dollars, baby. Come on, come on now, baby. Just come on, come on. I love cycling. I just haven't done it in so long. I've, my sort of physical yeah. fitness has sort of gone downhill. Come on. Yeah, come on. Who's really even funny blanks today? Excellent. I hope that's a good funny. Yeah. I was hoping he's very confident in himself. Seems to hide behind the jokes a lot. Where would you say he is on the dynamism scale? Five. About a four. Yes, no, or a friend? A yes. You're going to give him a yes? Why? Tell Why me are more. You surprised? Hello. OK, I'm going to put you out of your misery now. Right, did I improve? Well, the good news is you got a date. Oh, is it you? No, 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 no. A genuine lady. The bad news is that. Right. Out of every single woman I talked to, they said that they found you nervous, yeah. that you needed more confidence, and when I asked them to rate you on a scale of 1 to 10 on your level of dynamism, your average score was about 5 out of 10. So there's a lot of work that needs doing. It's going to get better over the next couple of days. It, it will. Do, because it, will. it really, really needs to improve. It's day two. Music student Owen Williams is desperate for a job to pay off his debts. Business psychologist Rob Young thinks he can turn him into a compelling candidate. But he's still woefully lacking the energy he needs to impress employers. He's got to add some va va -voom while communicating under pressure, and for once in his life, take some responsibility. There's nothing more challenging than being a co-driver in a rally car 
You've got to direct a driver at high speed. He's got to trust your judgment. Get it wrong and you'll be crashing headlong into a bollard. Obviously, we've got a list of page notes here. So you're going to be reading this to me as we go around the stage oh, and hopefully right. uh, getting it spot on. Yeah, I got you. 20 down into open, into open air pin land. OK, you're right over there. You need yeah. to speak up there when we really push on right. and the noise increase. Right. Sorry, open air pin left. Be confident. No need to apologise if you get it wrong. Just keep reading the notes. That's fantastic going. Good okay. luck. OK. Sheer fear. <laughs> Is that all right, yeah? <laughs> How's it going, Sparky? Tough. Good, that's the really idea. Really tough. But now, on, this no. is pressure. Fifty, caution, bumped into tight left. Over crest. Twenty down into open, half in left. Good, make sure you keep up, good lad. Open, half in right. Okay. Do you believe in him? Do you rely on him and I'm trust starting, him? I'm starting to believe in him on, on, on certain little bits here and there. He's, he's running up now. Should we do it again, but this time at the proper speed? <laughs> we'll push on a bit. There you go. Let's go for it. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Open 90 right to straight 100 up. That's it. Tight left, go left, open. That's good, Owen. Keep it going. Give me good. Up, open, perfect right. One. Come on, good. Perfect left. Over finish. Spot on, mate. Well, a nice one. That's it. Good lad. How was he this time? You could hear the confidence in his voice with the pace notes. That passed over to me a bit of confidence. He even got so excited a couple of times. He was like, come on, that's what we want. We're going to side race to the corner over there. This is the feeling I want you to take into an interview because it has been such hard work to try and get you to infuse or right. be excited about anything. You wanted dynamism. I think I've brought you dynamism. Owen may have injected a bit more energy into his voice, but in an interview, you have to use your whole body to communicate that you're a dynamic candidate. And sitting up straight would certainly help. Because one of the things in the interview that I was really concerned about was your body language. You were really slumped over. You looked like you were down the pub chatting to your mates. Fencing is all about poise. And the man charged with improving Owen's posture is Olympic coach Jemek Wojciechowski. Owen, this is Jemek, your instructor. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. You too. So you have to be very quick, very agile, very quick, and, uh, and very confident. You have to believe yeah. in your action. So should we get him changed? Yes, absolutely, yes. What do you have to do with your, with your posture, maybe, to, to try to be a little bit more more positive, more aggressive. Not just looking pretty casual, you know, like that. Now it's probably time for us to see how we can behave in real fight. More aggression, Owen. A lot of fencers do shout and uh, as they produce the heat right. or just after. And shouting is something which helps to release energy, release aggression. Why don't you shout, Owen? It doesn't come naturally. Try it. I'll give it a go. I will give it a go. Good. Come on, Owen! Finally, Owen, seeing a bit of fire in your belly. Fantastic! Fantastic! You really have made... Thank you very much, Owen. Thank you very you really, much. You really make me feel like I'm fencing very advanced fencer. I see what you mean about the shouting. It's very much uh, like a release of energy. It really sort of opens you up. Sort of 
bears all. Do you think that's woken some aggressive, assertive, enthusiastic it instinct within you now? It does feel like there's a new Owen. And hopefully, well, and he will be, he is more assertive. Owen may have been shaken out of his stupor, but tomorrow he'll face his most testing challenge yet. Rob is planning an interview from hell with actors Breit to prove his every weakness. To have any chance of coping with it, Owen's got one final task to complete. You'll have to be dynamic in voice and body, command respect and perform under pressure. Well, this task is all about bringing absolutely everything together. Now, I know you're musical, yeah. so I've decided that actually what you need to do is to conduct a choir. And then the really challenging bit will be taking the choir next door and performing in a pub full of drunken louts. Oh, oh dear. Firstly, have you ever conducted at all? I haven't. Do you know about beating time? Yes. How do yeah. you beat four in a bar? Um, one, two, three, four, one, OK, two, three. that's not, not with the hands, no. Yeah, but you have to do it with hands. As one of London's foremost ensembles, the English Chamber Choir are used to rather more sophisticated direction. Hello, everyone. My name's Owen. I shall be your conductor for this evening. Do you want them to sit down or stand up? Let's stay seated, because we all look more comfortable. Actually, no, let's get up, because we've got some loud parts, <coughs> and I want you to project. Three, four. I apologise, everybody, I am lost. We need a very clear <coughs> first beat of bar. The bar. Well, we need very... Bar and bit. Quars yes. would always like a very clear first beat. Owen's got to sort it out, because in under an hour, he'll be facing a pub full of drunken punters, where choral music isn't top of the pops. It's going to require a phenomenal performance. Very good. And your final gesture is getting a bit long now, so that we're going. Yeah, you right. need to make it very sharp. Um, I think you're going to get us all off with a T in the same place. I apologise. I've not spotted that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time for the pub now. Just one last question for the choir. Do you all have confidence in Owen? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> now I've got confidence in me. Quiet, please! I'd like to introduce to you, performing the song Locus East Day by Bruckner, the English Chamber Choir. I've always been a very laid-back person. I still feel laid-back at the moment, but very powerful kind of laid-back. I think we have actually brought out something quite interesting in Owen, something that he didn't really think he had before. I tried to hide my floor. I'm a... I'm a new Owen. It's day three, and the final reckoning for Owen is just a few hours away. But first, there's some unfinished business that needs addressing. May I just remove the hat for a moment? Go for it. Because one of the comments that the interviewers made was that you didn't seem like you were familiar with the barber shop. If you want to get a job, then you may have to trim those silky locks. Okay. How do you feel about that? It'll go you back. may have to give me a moment to think. Let's have a go. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Well done, Andy. How do you think it looks? 
time. I think it looks good. Really? Better than I expected. I'm impressed. Did a very good job. Owen thinks he's a changed man, but now he's got to prove it. Rob's primed actors to test his every weakness. Just a few days ago, Owen was a joke of a candidate. At the moment, I'm studying at university. I'm only there for eight hours a week. All right, okay. It's not like it's a real degree or anything. Today, can he prove he's a credible contender in the toughest interview of his life? Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hi. Have a seat. This is just worlds away from how he was. He's now smartly dressed, short hair, sitting upright, really poised. Can you give an example of when you've demonstrated lateral thinking? Yes, definitely. Uh, working for a major credit card company not long ago, they had computer systems which were very, very slow. This was the question where, in that original interview, it was his downfall. He was talking about setting fire to his kitchen, and now he's got the sense to pick a professional example which really shows him off in a positive light. What strengths do you think you can bring to this line of business? Over the past few jobs I've had, I've had a very, very good attendance and punctuality record. It's funny how he now is able to talk about punctuality and attendance and you believe him, whereas before everything was about how difficult it was to get out of bed, how he enjoyed sleeping and so on. So, Owen, what gets mm. you out of bed in the morning? With the exception of uh, alarm clocks, which <laughs> I think it's the challenges. The hard tasks are always made worthwhile by the end result. You get out what you put in and I like getting things out. Who would have thought that over just a couple of days he's gone from being that grungy guitar-playing student to someone who is eminently employable? Nice it's to meet you. It's been a pleasure. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Dude! Dude. <laughs> so how did that feel as an interview? Great. Uh, I stumbled over my words once or twice, but I felt like... They got a really, really good impression of me. I've had to push you a little bit, Sparky, but... I know. It's, it's you that has actually done it. I was ready to throttle you. <laughs> really was. Uh, and now you kind of get the point, hopefully? I do. I okay. do. Oh, all is forgiven, Rob. OK, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I did not know it was you, man. I mean, the hair was gone, the beard was gone, like, the suit, it's... Give me confidence and standing up straight instead of going, look at me, I'm student. <laughs> it's great, I am a lead, <laughs> mean interview machine. Yeah! Dude, dude. <laughs>